I think this bot's compensating for something. Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the Toy Hacks Armory where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you robo sets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Cybertron Ultra Class Cybertron Defense Red Alert. Now Red Alert here was donated to the channel by my good buddy Firetox. And I am so thankful to get this guy. I never owned this figure, and he is really, really cool. Now, when he arrived from Firetox, he was missing this little missile right here. So I hopped on Facebook and just put out a be on the lookout, looking to buy a missile for Cybertron Defense Red Alert. And within like 30 minutes, I had a reply by a fellow Transformer fan, Will Thompson, who said he had one. He sold it to me for a really reasonable price, and now I have Cybertron Defense Red Alert 100% complete. So one, thank you so much, Firetox, and two, thank you, Will Thompson. I mean, collectors helping collectors, I love this Transformers community. So now, without further ado, let's get this guy in front of the camera and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In vehicle mode, Cybertron Defense Red Alert is some sort of military APC with a ballistic missile attached to the top. And let me tell you, this is a big, beefy vehicle mode. Let me bring in Earthrise Optimus Prime just so you can get an idea of how big this vehicle actually is. So there you go. He is just slightly bigger than Earthrise Prime's trailer, but this guy weighs twice as much. He is a solid vehicle. Now taking a closer look at him, great molded details all the way around. You've got great paint applications as well. You got the molded in windows here. I mean, this thing just looks great. I mean, I never owned this toy and I am totally blown away. And look at all the details up here on the missile. That looks fantastic. He does have some translucent red right there that comes into play later on. I mean, just all around a great looking vehicle and flipping it upside down, you really cannot tell that this is a transformer. There's no robot bits hanging off anywhere. He also has these big beefy wheels on the bottom. They're pinned in and this guy rolls really good. And He's very noisy because there's lots of treads on those wheels. So now let's take a look at the missile that can actually raise up and down. And as you can hear, it is on a ratchet. So it can go up and down, but it cannot rotate left or right. I mean, you gotta turn the whole vehicle if you wanna aim in a different direction. Now he also has this double barrel cannon right there that can lift up and down as well. And just like the missile, it does not rotate. So up and down is all you're gonna get out of that. And look right here, more great details underneath the missile. Now this figure does have 
some gimmicks on it, which most of the Cybertron figures had. If you pull the missile off like you're firing it, it actually has a launching sound. So let's kind of angle this up to keep it in camera. Just take a firm grip on, on the missile here and pull. So it launches off. I hope you're able to see the lights there in that translucent plastic. Let me slide this back on. You see it's got a little groove right here. Just slide that back on, lock it in place. And when you pull it off again, let me see if you can see those lights right there. Let me turn these lights off. So it makes launching sounds so you can fire that off to the Decepticons or on this to the Decepticon base. Speakers right there, more great details for the engines. This missile looks really cool. Now the little trigger to activate the sounds right there. So when you slide it on this little groove, lock it in place, when you pull it off, it hits that trigger and that's what makes the sound. Let me get the lights back on. Now there also is a, another gimmick, the cyber key gimmick. I have this cyber key right here. Not sure if this is the one that goes with red alert but they all work the same. You take the cyber key and you're gonna put it right in this slot right here. So now watch the missile. It opens up into some sort of mega cannon. Let me do that again for you. Lock these in place. See if I can get a good angle to show you how this looks. Plug that in. It lights up once again, just like it did when you launch, but now it has this long, long, translucent tube right here with another surprise if you can see this switch right here this missile actually launches a missile and it actually shoots out with some force let me show you again just because launching missiles is fun so yes awesome i dig it i love transformers with gimmicks i wish they had them nowadays but you know, it is what it is. Now that's pretty much it for vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and get him transformed into robot mode. You're gonna move the missile up out of the way. Take these little sections right here, bring these out like so. Now you're gonna take this front section here and you're gonna pull these apart. These are actually form the legs. And now swing this around like so, so you've got this going on. Take these, which is the arms, we'll have to zoom out slightly. And you're gonna pull the arms apart and bring these around to the side. Now you got these flaps right here, go ahead and bring these down. Fold those right along the front of the vehicle and just take these little flaps right here and fold them on the inside. Now right here for the feet, you're gonna take the front of the APC and just squeeze up. So those will make the toes, then there are heel spurs underneath, flip these out. They actually lock in place. Now, let's see, the waist is a little loose on this figure. Go ahead and rotate the arms down like so. Right here, you're gonna flip this out, revealing the robot head and chest. And there you have Cybertron Defense Red Alert in robot mode. And this guy is an impressive transformer. He really took me by surprise. Robot mode looks great. Let's see if I can bring him closer to the camera without knocking it over with that missile. Great face sculpt. I love the light piping, he's got great light piping right there, see? I love a figure with good light piping. There's a big translucent spot right there that really lets in a lot of light. Got a little bit of gold there for the face, gold there for the crest. Lots of nice molded detail here on the chest area. I mean, just a good, beefy figure. Now, articulation for the guy, you do have a head that can do a complete 360. It's on a swivel, it's not gonna look up and down. The arms can do a complete 360 as well. Plus they can lift forward and back. There is an elbow bend, a wrist rotation, and I think, yes, there is a rotation 
up there near the top of the arm. So you can kind of have angle those however you like. I like, let's see, you can have this look here going on, which I actually like. I think that looks really good. That may be the way he goes. I don't care. That's the way I'm going to show him off. So yeah, lots of articulation here for the arms. There is a waist rotation. As I said, mine's pretty loose. Legs can go up and back. They're on a really nice ratchet. There is a knee bend, once again, on great ratchets. No ankle tilts whatsoever. And that's pretty much it for articulation. Now on this arm, he has another weapon. Now this here has pegs, so it can peg into either arm. And this weapon here actually forms the middle of the vehicle mode. And it kind of stuck to his left arm. And that's where I'm leaving it. So I'm going to bring the missile back down. Of course, articulation for the missile, exactly the same as vehicle mode. Now to activate this little weapon right here, just slide your cyber key in right there on the back, which will flip this section forward. So you can use this as a blaster, or if you open these panels here on Red Alert's legs, you've got some hidden tools right here on the right leg, if I can get it out. I don't have the thumbnails to do this. That was not easy to get out. So right here in the right leg, you have a claw. And this claw pegs in right here on the front of this weapon. So now he has a grabber claw like you know the old folks have to pick up the remote control off the floor. Or he also has a weapon right here. Let's see how much fun this one's going to be to get out. Oh, that's that popped right out. No problem whatsoever. Take the claw attachment off and put this on. And now he has a hammer. He is just flopping all over the place here. And what's cool about this hammer, it's spring-loaded, so he can wha play whack-a-mole with a Decepticon. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Now down here on the knee, he has the double-barrel cannon from vehicle mode, and this can point forward, kind of like Fortress Maximus's knee guns. And that is pretty much it. Oh, yes. Of course, the gimmicks for the rocket work just the same as they did in vehicle mode. You can launch the rocket or activate his mega cannon. So really, really cool figure. So there you go, guys. Red alert in robot mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Cybertron, Cybertron Defense Red Alert with Generation 1 Optimus Prime. Generation 1 Red Alert, Siege Red Alert, and fellow Missile Bro Earthrise Double Dealer. Transformers Cybertron, Ultra Class Cybertron Defense Red Alert is a fun figure. I have had an absolute blast playing with this toy since I got him. I can't thank Firetox enough for sending him to me. This is just a great figure. He's solid, tons of playability, gimmicks, electronics, sounds. You just can't beat it. I really wish they made Transformers like this guy this day and age. So there you go, guys. Transformers Cybertron Ultra Class Red Alert. So does a Transformers Cybertron Ultra Class Cybertron Defense Red Alert belong in your collection? Well, if you like your Transformers big, beefy and loaded full of gimmicks absolutely this guy is so cool and so much fun to play with i just can't get over all the features he has he's got the launching rocket the hidden missile within the split apart mega cannon he's got the flip out weapon the different attachments and not to mention the flip out cannon right here this toy is just loaded and i just can't believe I passed this guy up back in the day. I mean, I collected all of the Transformer figures that was coming out, but for some reason, I didn't get him. And he is really, really cool. Big shout out once again to Firetox and Will Thompson for helping me complete this figure. 
I love him. I just have to find a place for him back there on the shelf where he'll fit in. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And we are getting so close. I am less than 300 away from my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!